morning. It is day two of the 369 cleanse. Um, I've already been up for a couple hours, so I made our lemon waters, and then I was just doing some um, social media posts on our story to get that kind of going. I had some stuff on my heart, heavy on my heart, and on my mind that I just felt like I had to share on there. Um, but now I am gonna start prepping everything for our cleanse today. So I'll get our, um, our celery juice going. I'll make our heavy metal detox smoothie. Um, I'll probably wait and do our lunch smoothie until closer to lunchtime. I've got dishes to unload from the dishwasher. Um, and then I have some elderberry syrup kit orders to fulfill. Um, and do some cleaning. It's Sunday, so good day to kind of just get stuff done around the house. celery juice can taste really bitter but this one's sweet and I could just drink this up no problem hey Hello. hey hey good morning <laughs> drinking our celery juice we had our lemon water now it's on to the celery juice yeah so it's uh, day two of the cleanse we did that yesterday was day one mm -hmm. and it went, went well right it did go well. You definitely were craving dessert, though. Yeah, definitely. So, I think I <laughs> we're in trouble on day one. You're wanting dessert. <laughs> I think we had a little too much dessert the days prior, so it was like for your birthday. imprinted in my brain that I need something sweet. But yeah, I got by. Yeah. So um, on to day two out of day nine, and we are drinking our celery juice, and then we will. Have our heavy metal detox smoothie for breakfast we'll have an apple if we're still hungry before lunch and then lunch we get to choose between the liver cleanse smoothie or spinach uh, soup so i was going to make the spinach soup today Ooh, um, and you can have cucumber noodles with it if you'd like and then you can also snack on apples until dinner yeah, and then last night for dinner, we had this really tasty salad. It was like what, the cucumber, tomato, and like herbs on it. Yeah, it's the herb salad that's in the Cleanse to Heal book, and it was really good. I mean, it's loaded with all these herbs, and then you use like lemon and orange for dressing, and that all together just creates this really, really good flavor, like... like a Greek salad, right? Yeah, it was like, it reminded me of uh, a cucumber salad, you know, you'd get in a sushi restaurant mixed with like Greek tones and seasonings to it. It was super tasty. Yeah. And that's just one option. So like the, the dinner time options, there's what, one, two, three, four, four different options. Five. To, five different options five, to choose from. Five different options. So days one through eight. So you don't get bored eating the same thing every day, right? Mm -hmm. You you can switch it up each day and try a little something new. And, you know, by the end of of the last couple of days, you can choose your favorites. Yep. And then in the cleanse with those things you enjoyed throughout those five different recipes. Yeah. And so we're doing the advanced version of the 369 cleanse. And that version is all raw. Um, so... If you've never done the cleanse before, check out the uh, simplified version and the original version and see if one of those speak to you more than the advanced version. Um, you know, we've been eating this way for almost four years now. Um, and so we felt like it was ready for time for us to try the advanced version. It is a really great cleanse. You're not starving yourself. You are eating, you are drinking delicious juices, things like that and really nourishing your body and gently um, and safely cleansing your liver. Well, I think we're gonna get ready to start our day. Yes. 
So yeah. I've been editing some videos this morning and this afternoon I'm gonna go set up another farm stand in front of the house, try to sell some microgreens and some starts. Yeah, so that's kind of the plan. I, I, I'm i gonna do that and then I'm gonna start a bunch more microgreens. Um, I'll be prepping for our cleanse, which I already did a lot of that this morning. And then I think I gotta run to the store again um, to get some more food supplies for the, cool. the cleanse and just make sure we're set for the week. All right. It's time to set up the booth. The farm stand. The residential farm stand in the city. We're gonna go out and get that set up right now. All right, let me give you the tour. We're all set up out here. I'll show you what I'm selling. So, we got some microgreens down here. I'm doing garden starts. Shows how we grow everything. Elderberry syrup kits. These are all my starts. So I've got some leeks. I've got radishes. I've got parsnips. And I've got uh, turnips. And you can see my garden out here. I essentially have everything planted that I'm also selling as starts. And then today what I'm doing is I'm taking these starts and moving them from these mini blocks into these six seed blocks. So that's what I'm gonna be doing this Sunday is I'll be out here selling some stuff and then I also uh, will be getting some work done. So it's like uh, I would normally be out here working anyways, might as well set up a table and as people walk by or people on next door see that message, maybe they'll come buy some stuff from me. So I'm gonna get to planting some seeds in those those six packs over there and uh, we'll see if anybody shows up. So Ben is outside um, working in the garden and doing our plant sale and I am prepping our spinach soup lunch. Um, I just did an apple as a snack and if Ben comes in and says he's hungry, I'll give him an apple before lunch is ready. Okay, turns out he's hungry. I'm bringing him an apple. Okay. Thank you. I was hungry out here. How's your Late sale going? Way. I'm um, transplanting, um, so I got these mini blocks here. These are little mini three-fourth inch soil blocks, and then I take them and I put them in my six seed flats here. So then these, these little flats, basically you take your little seedling, hop it in there, throw some dirt over it. Nice. And then this is what we'll sell are these little flats. raw spinach soup. I can hear Kelly barking in the background. With the raw spinach soup, uh, there's also the option to have cucumber noodles with it. And um, what I'm gonna do today, instead of doing the cucumber noodles, I'm going to just chop up cucumber to snack on with the soup. Mm. Seriously? 
seriously so tasty. You guys have to try this. This is so good. It's so good. I mean, it sounds weird because it's cold and raw, but the flavor is just amazing with the tomatoes and the garlic. Oh, I forgot to put celery stick in this. Whoops. You're supposed to blend celery in here too. Um, but it has spinach, tomato, garlic, um, orange, juice of an orange, basil. I think I love the basil in it. And then cucumber noodles on the side. I chopped them up today so I could dip them, which I really like to do. And plus the noodles work better in a bowl and we like to drink the soup out of a cup. I left your uh, soup and cucumbers here. What's that? Your soup and your cucumbers are here. Oh, yeah. Spinach soup we haven't had in a while. Yeah, it's really yeah. good. Get ready to just drink it up. A lot of garlic in there? No, perfect amount. Good. All right. Callie, Mama's home. Yep, got some stuff at the store. Got more wild blueberries, lemons, oranges, a bunch of other goodies. For the cleanse. For the cleanse, yeah. So, got three flats done of transplants. Got the broccoli, the cauliflower, the kohlrabi, and the lettuce done. And behind me, farm stand, got one customer. It's not bad, I would have been out here anyways working all day, so, you know, a little something's better than nothing, right? So, I think I'm done for the day. I'm gonna start cleaning up, head back inside. chopped everything for dinner. We are having the cauliflower and greens bowl for dinner tonight. This is night two on the 369 advanced liver cleanse. Um, I think this is going to be a good one too. I'm going to show you guys everything that I prepped. So I have all of the greens chopped up and I'll be splashing some uh, juice of orange on that. I have chopped up the cauliflower to a cauliflower rice with some dates butter dulse to sprinkle on top, and then I'll be mixing in tomatoes, chopped asparagus, uh, green onions. I did parsley instead of cilantro. Um, I did fresh basil instead of dried basil. And then we have uh, chopped garlic. Okay, so the recipe actually says you can put orange or lemon on the greens. So I'm gonna do lemon on the greens because I put orange on the cauliflower. personally craving some dill and I think it'd be good in this mixture. Um, it, the recipe doesn't call for it, but one of the other meal options, so the herb salad, does call for it and it's okay to incorporate ingredients that are kind of within uh, the parameters of the meal options. So. This looks really good. I cannot wait to eat this. Dinner. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this looks good. Will you sprinkle some uh, seaweed on top? Yeah, the recipe called for it. And there's lettuce under all that madness. Wow. Good. That's super tasty. 
That's really good. I'm surprised.